Now let me remind you, there is a tithe, an offering, and a first fruit before the law. And a lot of people think that everything that is written in the Old Covenant is under the law. It isn't. There is no law until Exodus 20. See, a lot of people think, well, everything in the Old Covenant is the law. No. Read, for God's sake, read the book. Don't take somebody's word for it. Read. The law doesn't begin until Exodus 20. So everything that God does before Exodus 20, even though it's in the Old Covenant, it is not under the law. Now, most of you have never heard anybody say that. I've been in church all my life, and I've never heard anybody say that. You know who I heard say it? The Holy Ghost. He said to me, tell my people. Because there's a lot of this stuff. See, and see, a part of the responsibility of, a, of an apostle and a prophet is to make sure they are teaching so God's people are not blown about with every wind of doctrine. Quiet in here. Still here? I said, are you still here? Yes. <laughs> so the law isn't even in force right. until Exodus 20. So everything God does with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not under the law. That's right. There we go, Bishop. Come on, process that. Process that. Process that. I know, I know you haven't heard it, but read the book. Are you still here? Yes. So, God makes a covenant with Abraham, Exodus 12, and then in Exodus 14, you see Abraham tithing to Melchizedek. Right. There is no law. Right. So, where does Abraham get this idea to tithe? Abraham believed God. He didn't obey God. See, obedience is under the old covenant. He, Abraham didn't obey God. Abraham believed God. Because the new covenant operates on believing. The old covenant operates on obedience. Now, you, can, you what's the distinction? I mean, that's what's the thing. You can obey someone you don't believe. You can obey a person because you're scared of them, which is why most Christians obey God. They don't believe him. They are afraid of him. And the preaching that we have preached to them keeps them scared. And God doesn't want a people scared of him. He wants a people who knows he's not going to beat them over the head. He's not going to knock them down. He's not going to kick them out. Even if, they, even if they don't do what he says. But he wants a people who understand. But if you will believe me, I will unlock heaven and earth for you. I will cause stuff to happen for you that doesn't happen for anybody else. If you believe. Watch this, for I will be merciful to their unrighteous and their sins and their laws, these I will remember no more. In that he says a new covenant, he has made the first obsolete. Now what is becoming obsolete is going, is going old and ready to vanish away. So we think, well, the first is obsolete and all that's gone. But again, the tithe, the offering, and the first fruit were before the old covenant. Yes. So that covenant being obsolete and taken away doesn't take those away because they were there before the covenant. Yes. So watch it. Watch it. Let's do it again. There is a tithe, an offering, and a first fruit before the law. There is a tithe, an offering, and a first fruit under the law. There is a tithe, an offering, and a first fruit 
after the law. And we have to understand how to function in it as it is now. I was praying about this, and this happened almost two years ago. Get that diagram ready that the Lord showed me. And, I, and, and while I was praying about this, and the Lord was downloading this to me. He was downloading it to me. And he said, when you teach it, teach it this way. My people need to understand. He said, teach it this way. And what I saw was, I, I saw this and, and I gave it to some graphics people and they designed it. And the Lord showed it to me like this. This is ground zero. This, this is level ground. Everything under here is underground. Do you see that? Everything above here is above ground. This is the cross of Jesus Christ. It's right in the middle. It's ground zero. How many of you understand what I just said? Now, if you see to the left of the cross underground, it says old covenant under the law. Do you see that? And notice everything old covenant under the law is underground. Everything to the left of the cross, you say it says in grace and says new covenant. Do you see that? Everything there is above the ground. So now watch this. What was the point of this? The Lord said to me, he said, son, every, every offering in the old covenant, every trespass offering, every uh, heave offering, all of that, every tithe in the old covenant was before ground zero. It was a down payment on a debt that was not yet paid. <laughs> so that's why God said, bring this, and if you do this, I'll do this, and if you do this, I'll do this, and if you do this, I'll do this. It was based on performance. Why? Because the debt is not settled. Right. What is the debt? Sin. And basically, until that debt is paid, we owe God. Wave at me if you understand. Well, we are constantly making down payments, watch this, on a debt we can never pay off. It is a temporary way for God to bless us until the price is paid in full. And remember, the scripture says that the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So in God's eyes, the lamb has already been slain. But from here to here, he's saying, I'm creating for you a way to have relationship with me even though the debt isn't paid. And I'm gonna be a conditional God to you based on your obedience. If you do this, I'll do this. If you do this, I'll do this. If you do this, I'll do this. And then Jesus comes, fulfills the law dies on the cross. That's ground zero. Are you still here? Yeah. I said, are you still here? Now the price is paid. Now I'm not paying on a bill. I'm not putting it into a hole where I can't get it back. Now I'm making deposits that I can withdraw. Now I have a heavenly account. Now everything I'm doing is above ground. So now my tithe, my offering, my first fruit is not a debt I owe. It's not me making a payment on something that gets absorbed in a hole and I can't know. Now it's a seed I sow. It's all above the ground. I'm, I'm already above and not. Now I'm above. Glory to God. And I'll never be underground again. I'll never be in debt to God again. I owe God no debt. Jesus paid my debt. I don't owe God a debt. Now I'm sowing, I'm giving in worship to a God who has given me everything. And because I know his principles, I know what he's promised to do now when I sow. Yeah. 